Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to another episode of The Unlock Show. I'm Tracy Wilson, and it is, like I always say, it's always my pleasure to be here with you guys. Um, today, it's a little bit different. I don't know if you can hear that in the background. Did you hear my like intro music just come in? Uh, my granddaughter just came out of our tent. Tent, yes, I said a tent. Um, I am currently camping, camping with the family. You've seen me do this before. Well, we're at it again. We've got a beautiful day here uh, well, on the Gold Coast, but I'm actually on the north coast of New South Wales. We are in, where the heck are we? We are at, I don't know, we're, at, we're in the middle of frigging nowhere. And I am streaming today on my iPhone because I tried to get my uh, laptop and all my setup. I'll show you in a minute. I bring everything with me. But, you know, where we are, sometimes where you go, you don't always have the best of reception. So today is going to be a little bit different. Or oh, you can't hear me. Hmm. Robin, can you hear me now? One moment. Why can't you hear me? Oh, the birds are really singing. All right. So now you can hear me. Yes. Sorry. Big hand, fat hand in the road because I'm trying to... um mobile phone so you know first for everything so yes if you can hear those birds chirping in the background I'll show you in a minute where I am um hear lots and lots of birds so uh last night when we well early hours of this morning when I woke up I swear I could have been sleeping in a nest with I don't know maybe 500 birds because that's how loud it was but anyway I digress so today um, I'm out and about I'm with the family we are doing a bit of family camping we've got a whole bunch of um, a group of other family members coming a little bit later on this afternoon but John and myself and my granddaughter Jada we got away a little bit early and uh, we came down here and I'll show you guys around for those of you that are watching live I'll show you around the campsite and uh, you can get a bit of a feel for where I am. But today I thought I would talk about something um, that actually we have been talking about uh, in my team over the last, uh, or our team I should say, over the last week. And it really is in alignment with what I spoke about last Friday. So the last two Fridays I did, uh, I took you guys through a session and we did a game last week which was on values and how to kind of get in alignment with your values and I hope that you guys have had the opportunity to go back and look at I think it was episode number 51 and episode number 53 so you need to start at 51 do that uh, listen to the unlock show uh, session number 51 episode 51 and then do episode number 53 because really they're going to help you get in alignment and understand what your values are so that you can make sure that you're living in alignment and that you're doing all the things that you need to do to have the things that you want but today is really going to be about kind of a lead on from that. So once we've understood what our values are, we then kind of get to this point where we're thinking about, well, what is it that I actually really want in my life? But more than that, it's who do I need to become? And I've been thinking about this because it's often not something that, that people even think about. It's not even a question that you would even ask yourself. Most people go through their life and they just start, you know, we just grow and we uh, progress and we, I'm going to use the word transform by default. Um, we have this, you know, default setting that the experiences, the, um, you know, the, the knowledge, the things that we learn over time help us to become the person that we are today. And, you know, you can, you can understand this if you think back to the person that you were when you left high school, when you left college, you know, who were you back then? And now think about who you are today. And when you think about that, did you really design who you are today? day on purpose or did that happen by default and often as we go through um, as we go through life and we get a little bit older and a little bit grayer as you can see um, you know we we get to a point where we go hang on a minute we start to realize that we actually have the opportunity to create the life that we actually want and that we desire rather than things just happening by default so when we talk about or when I think about that, you know, what is it that we have to do? So now that I've got you to think about it, who do you actually want to become? Now I want to try and help you guys to with some questions that you need to ask yourself so that you can start to design the life that you want. You're going to be doing this very purposefully. You're going to be doing it by design and you'll be doing it based on you know what your values are and what you actually really want. And if I think about me, I certainly, doing the things that I'm doing now, 
are not what I thought I would have uh, would be doing, you know, when I was back in my 20s, when you are busy trying to raise a family, you're trying to, you know, work hard, um, create a lifestyle for yourself, create, you know, bring money in and all those sorts of things. But as time went on, I realized that in that corporate job, I wasn't really feeling fulfilled. I wasn't feeling like I was being the person that I wanted to be. I felt like a square peg in a round hole. So came the day that I did something about it. But even when I did something about it, I didn't really think about at that time, who did I want to become? What life did I want to be living? Did I want to be able to just pack my family up on a Thursday and be able to not have to ask anybody, can I, can I go camping with my family this week? Have I used all of my, you know, all of my annual leave? I didn't really think about that until fairly recently. Like I'm talking in the last sort of year to 18 months where I really started to think about what what if, what if I could create something? What if I could create a lifestyle and a life that I wanted and a and a business that kind of wrapped around that to enable me to do the things that I want to do? And lo and behold, as I started to think about that and as I started to to do that, I started to be able to do the things that I wanted to do and have the things that I wanted to have. So Here's what you need to do. So if you want to do the same thing, if you're sitting back now thinking, do you know what? In the future, the life that I've got right now is not necessarily the life that I want to be living in the future. And that's totally okay because that's what this is about. So if that's the case for you, then today's show is really going to help you because it's going to help you to really start thinking about what is it that I want. You know, there are times where I jump on the show and I'm all made up and I'm in the comfort of my my office in my home with all of my, you know, my normal surroundings. And now I'm out, you know, uncut, unedited, very much authentic, no makeup, just doing my thing with my Um, we call them togs, swimmers on, you know, about to go for a swim down there, which is the lifestyle that I want to create for me and my family. I wanted to be able to pack up and just go when I want to go. So if that's you too, here's what you need to start doing. One of the questions that you need to start asking yourself, and you can do this today. So like I said, go back and do the last two episodes that I've mentioned. Do those because it's going to help you to understand where your values lie and enable you to remain in alignment with those. And in that episode, I also talked about, you know, if you've got a business, you need to make sure that money, abundance, wealth is somewhere um, in the top three. So if, um, if you're wanting to do this, the first thing you need to ask yourself is, who do I want to be? Who do I want to become? So in five years' time, when you start looking back at yourself, you start looking back at the life that you've created, what is it that's going to make you look back and go, do you know what, this position that I'm in right now is exactly where I wanted to be. This is what I wanted to have in my life. I wanted to be able to go camping. I wanted to be able to jump on a plane and go to five-star hotels if I so wish to. I want to be able to take my family with me. I want to be able to create a show where I can connect and speak to you know people all over the world. You know that's what I wanted. But what is it that you want? You know there was also a time where I thought that what I wanted was to create a really big business on the Gold Coast with many staff in it, with a amazing you know um office and I had all of that and I got and I was like "Mm, you know what no that's not what I want I want to be able to do all of this stuff that I'm doing right now so I'm really comfortable doing the stuff that I'm doing but again I'm trying to help you guys to understand and be comfortable with where you want to go and what it is that you want to do and if you want to show up doing you know live raw real stuff like I'm doing right now that's cool I can show you the way of doing that so first question who do you want to be five years time from now Who is the person that you want to become? And if that is, I'm quite happy doing being who I am right now and I've got everything in my life that I want and need, kudos to you. That is fantastic, amazing. Keep doing what you're doing. But if you don't, then you want to think about that question that I've just asked. Who do you want to become? Who do you need to become? The next question you've got to do is like, what do you need to become that person so what do you need to do so not necessarily what are the things that you I just said need to do but like a meaning as in how do you need to transform 
who do you need to become, what are the, the attributes and the behaviours that you need to be displaying to become that person, to start transforming into that person. So not changing, not changing who you are, because we know that change is very short term. So we want to look very long term focused and that comes down to transformation it's like being that caterpillar that transforms into a butterfly there is no going back so this is about transformation and doing it for you the long term and creating exactly who you need to become to then do the things that you want to do and have the things that you want to have in your life in time from now Um, and you might see my granddaughter just jump into the shot in a minute because she's just come out and she's like I want to be on the show with you too and so say hello Jada this is Jada so um, we very much talk about you know who does she need to become what are the things that she needs to be doing uh, to be the best little person that she can be and uh, you know one day she might want to have a show too mightn't you she says yes she's a little bit shy today so, you know, who do you, who do you need to become? And then what are the things that you want to be doing? So if you think about what do you want to be doing in your life? So every day, what does your life look like? Do you want to be able to just pack your stuff up, move your life, be able to move from city to city, be able to go camping perhaps? Do you want to be um, living in the house of your dreams? What does all of that look like? Start really thinking about it now. And what you need to do is write that down. Bring it to fruition by writing it down and then start doing those things. So the question also is behaviors So and the attributes that you have. So What behaviors and habits do you need to start creating so that you can transform into the person that you need to become to have and do the things that you want to have and do in your life? So what do I mean by that? So one of the things that I realized about myself is that I realized that I used to work really well under pressure and I still do. But what I would do is because I I thought in my head that I would work really well under pressure, I would actually create pressure for myself. And what I mean by that is I would start leaving things to the last minute because if I did them at the last minute, it created that, that uh, sense of pressure, which then in my head I got into this habit of creating that pressure so that I then could start performing at my best. That was a habit that I had got into. So what I realized was that if I wanted to create something a little bit different, I actually had to change that habit. I had to start being somebody that created amazing stuff no matter what, no matter if I had, uh, you know, pressure put on me, no matter whether I was in a stressful situation or not, that I could just create amazing stuff regardless. And that what, what happened then as I was able to bring things forward, I started getting a lot more organized. I knew that I had to be an organized person, turn up to things on time, do the things that I said that I was going to do, uh, make sure that I delivered things to the best of my ability and better if I could than anybody else. And a funny thing started happening. Funny thing started happening was that my clients would jump on calls with me and go, Oh my God, like yesterday, a client said, first thing she said to me was, how did I get so lucky? How did I get so lucky to be working with you and having the amazing things that you and your team have created for me? She she didn't experience that or had not experienced that before. So I knew that that was because I had started transforming, that I started this journey of transformation some time ago. And now today... I'm able to do those things without having to create that pressure, the procrastinator, that procrastinator, Robin Helm is saying the procrastination syndrome. Yeah. So you get yourself into that cycle of procrastinating and then you start justifying it to yourself that it's okay because, you know, you perform best in that type of environment, which is totally not true. You can completely change that by comp- by changing the habits and the, and the behaviors that you, um, that you have. So there's a couple of um, tools that I want to give you guys today or give you the links to. So one is called the 16 personalities uh, test. So uh, I know that one of my team will pop into the chat uh, area now that uh, there is a website that you can go to to do the 16 personalities test. I would recommend that you go and do that. uh, And that's going to really help you to understand who you are today and some of the uh, strengths and the weaknesses that you have. Can you hear those birds just chirping away? They are, look, they are over there. 
perched up, just come here to say hello. So there's a whole bunch of them. Hopefully I didn't make you guys dizzy by turning that around. So, um, yeah, so you want to go and do that test. And the other one is the disc profiling. And if you go to Tony Robbins' site, you'll actually be able to do uh, a version of the disc profile uh, inside of Tony Robbins' uh, uh, website for free. So one of my team will put those into the chat area for you guys to go and have a look at now. Once you understand what those are, and like I said, you've done the last couple of sessions, uh, episode number 51 and episode number 53, today's is really taking that a bit further and getting you guys to really think about who do you want to become? Why? Because that's how you start living your life unlocked. It's about really recognizing who you are and then understanding who do you want to stand up and be? What are the messages that you want to create? Are you ready for that? For example, if you go back and you have a look at some of the videos that I did early on in my piece, I was, I'm going to say, shitting myself. I don't want to do this stuff. Whereas now today, I knew that the person I had to create, if I wanted to create a show like this, is I had to create somebody who was, you know, authentic, who was confident, who was organized and ready to step up and speak to you guys in a way that had authority and that had, you know, hopefully some level of charisma um, and, you know, a personality that I bring to the show, but also being very authentically me. So I knew that that was the things that I needed to do, be confident and competent with what it was that I was talking about. So I want you guys to start thinking about the same stuff. What is it that you want to do in your life? Who is it that you want to be? And what do you need to do? What behaviors do you need to display to start becoming and transforming into that amazing person? And how do you then take that message that you are willing to stand up for? What forums are you going to use? How are you going to do it? What messages will you uh, will you spread? And how are you going to help the people that are waiting for you to help them in this world? So all of that being said, guys, I'm going to give you a little bit. Who wants to have a bit of a look around this campsite? Um, Thursday night here, it was pretty, um, we're down the end of the camp, so it's a little bit quiet here. <laughs> apart from the birds, um, but right up the other end of this camp uh, campsite here, it is um, it is really really busy. And the name of this place will come back to me. We're in re uh, Reflections, the Terrace, and uh, I'm just trying to remember because last minute uh, we had to change the place that we um, the camping site camping ground that we were going to because we were going to go down to Sandon, uh, which is um, again a little bit further down south for us. But because of the COVID restrictions, we couldn't get down there. So we are in Brunswick Heads. Lucky they have signs all around this place. So we're at Brunswick Heads. Um, you can see people coming back from surfing, swimming. Uh, right there is the river. So we've had a little bit of rain here, um, but the river is just right there. So I can literally can walk down a little uh, pathway and we will be able to paddleboard and uh, take our kayaks out um, later on this afternoon. All of these campsites will be full a little bit uh, later today. There's our little, there's our little setup. So, pretty cool for just John and I, and we sometimes bring the um, bring the grandkids with us. And right next to us will be uh, the rest of the family will arrive a little bit later, and this entire section will be taken over by um, uh, the Wilson clan. So, anyway, I enjoy um, you guys coming on these little journeys with me, and uh, you just never know where I might just pop up at a. You know, might be a campsite, might be a five-star hotel, could be, I don't know, in the middle of nowhere, uh, sleeping out the back of my car. You just never know where Tracy Wilson's going to take you. But anyway, my uh, message for you guys today is start transforming, start becoming the person that you want to become so that you can start doing the things that you want to do and having the things that you want to have in your life. So enjoy the rest of your day. I know I certainly am. We're heading to the beach and hopefully... Um, you know, this can get a little bit of a little bit of a uh, Gold Coast uh, glow. Let's just put it that way. So have an amazing week. Join me again. I'll be back again next week. I've got some amazing guests next week. We're going to be talking uh, YouTube. I've got Alex Shafran coming up um, in one of the shows very, very shortly, probably in the next month or so. I'm going to be pre-recording with him uh, because we've got some amazing stuff that we want to talk about. And like I said, next week, I've got uh, Dave Rotherham, I believe, is with me next week. And we're going to be talking all things YouTube and how to uh, create viral videos. You do not want to miss Dave's show. 
Um, he has got this really, I'm going to say, uh, quirky story that was like when I when I listened to him the first time, I was like, what the heck? Not going to give uh, it all away today. You have to watch. Tune in next week, Wednesdays, Australian uh, Brisbane time, 10 a.m. And uh, again on Fridays. So see you guys then. Here's some more uh, campers. Happy camping. See you guys. Bye. Now I've got to figure out how to switch this off because, like I said, I'm on the mobile phone. So talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.